Hey guys, I just want to share this quick story um, because to just compound on my last video about experiencing what we believe, etc. But so I feel like through this story just made me realize that like I feel like experiencing what we believe what we believe is not like a it's not like a harsh thing like well you experience what you believe you know I think that I think there are opportunities uh, for us to think in a different perspective or to um to believe something else so that we can realize something else and that I believe is like grace you know is God like you know kind of like nudging us anyways so this story says I'm reading this book by Frances Scovelshire and some of the things she says in here I don't agree with. like sometimes I feel like she's too legalistic with her words with wording but I like this is she says wealth is a matter of consciousness the French have a legend giving an example of this. A poor man was walking along a road when he met a traveler who stopped him and said, My good friend, I see you are poor. Take this gold nugget, sell it, and you will be rich all of your days. The man was overjoyed at his good fortune and took the nugget home. He immediately found work and became so prosperous that he did not sell the nugget. Years passed and he became a very rich man. One day he met a poor man on the road. He stopped him and said, my good friend, I will give you this gold nugget, which if you sell will make you rich for life. The mendicant took the nugget, had it valued and found it was only brass. So we see the first man became rich through feeling rich, thinking the nugget was gold. Every man has within himself a gold nugget. It is his consciousness of gold, of opulence, which brings riches into his life. I have a funny story about the word opulence. So when I, reading this book is the first time I ever heard that word opulence. And I was like, what the hell is opulence? So look it up. Opulence means like wealth. And uh, I thought it was funny because my dog's name is Casey. But my oldest son sometimes make uh, makes up other, what I feel like are random names for her. So currently... He calls her Oppie, Oppie, and I'm like, where does that? Where did? Where did you even get that from? It just, he's like, oh, just made it up. So he's been calling her Oppie, and I found this word opulence. I'm like, holy shit! Like that is kind of cool. I was like, you're call, <laughs> like we're calling her opulence. I don't know. I feel like we've been saying opulence, but in short, Oppie, Oppie, opulence. That's kind of cool. So let's see here. It is his consciousness of gold, of opulence, which brings riches into his life. In making his demands, man brings at his journey's end. That is, he declares he has already received. Before you call, I shall answer. Continually affirming establishes a belief in the subconscious. It would not be necessary to make an affirmation more than once if one had perfect faith. One should not plead or supplicate but give thanks repeatedly that he has already received. 